Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Not very late, but you know, late for me. Um, welcome to Stamping A to Z, the what is it and how to to all things Stampin' Up. We are, um, I'm repeating episode 73, which I did last week. I had a little bit of a technical glitch where the volume went away. Um, my phone has a nasty habit of coming up with a a notice that just says something needs to be updated or whatever. And for some reason, it doesn't affect the video, but it cuts out the volume. So, which reminds me, I don't, I didn't check that there's no volume on here right now. Okay, there we go. I don't, you, maybe you didn't even hear me yet. <laughs> I'm having some technical issues these days. Okay, repeat of episode 73 from last week. Hopefully the volume issues will be solved. Um, it was all about uh, sparkle stained glass. So it's kind of a twist on the stained glass look. So, um, I've demoed it before using vellum. Um, today we're going to be using it with window sheets. Um, they can be found in the annual catalog, or you can be crafty and reuse the thick window sheet that comes in the with the photopolymer stamp sets. Because I just stick my stamps directly to the case, and I take that thick sheet, um, which I should have handy, but I don't, um, and I just wipe it you obviously want to clean it a little because it's not as clean as a window sheet but that's just if you don't have any window sheets handy window sheets are obviously the best thing they're like 675 for two 12 by 12 sheets so they're not horribly expensive um but yeah so today we're going to be doing it on window sheets what else oh i wanted to remind you this week is the last week for the last chance items a lot of things have flown off the shelves so last week when i did this I did it based on a bunch of products that were on clearance, good deals, still for sale. Some of them are now gone, unfortunately, um, but you can always replace them. There, I noticed there's some few other things that you can get kind of to use instead. So there still is some things to be had. So if you still haven't gone on there, this light is reflecting in my glasses, um, but you should go on there and take a look and make sure you order before by May 2nd. May 2nd is the last day, but as things sell out, they're gone. So it's just while supplies last. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention, but it's not coming to mind. So let's get started. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Um, I did get my pre-order for stuff from the new catalog and I have it in a box. It's been sitting here waiting um, to share with you. So I'm gonna do a quicker version of last week's um, video because I know some of you did watch without volume. Um, and then I'll do a quick um, sneak peek of some products from the new catalog. So stay tuned. I'm just gonna flip you over here. Now I'm gonna try and remember to check my phone every once in a while to make sure that it is not losing the Wi-Fi or the volume. Let's see. Okay. Looks like we're rolling here, so. Um, the first one I'm going to do, so here I have a sheet of the, um, this is what I was talking about that comes in a photopolymer, oh dear, stamp set. So this is a photo, uh, blah, blah. so you can see I've stuck it to the back here and then just, I kept the little flimsy sheet on top just to keep them nice and sticky. So all I did was I took a baby wipe, wiped wiped it clean to be reused. But like I said, there are, I'm just using up my stuff because um, you can totally use these window sheets that are all tissue papered and nice and clean and beautiful where you wouldn't have to do that extra bit of work. So I'm going to take, sorry, I keep going away from the mic. Um, 
So I'm going to use my Stamparatus just because this is a bigger background stamp set. So this is one of the things that's on the last chance list. Not because it's retiring. It is not retiring. It is in the new catalog. But right now it's bundled. It's bundled with the dies, which are beautiful dies. You can cut out the background. You can cut them out. And actually it's kind of cool because... One of the, so these ones are singles, but this one is all one. So it cuts it out exactly how the background stamp um, stamps it. So makes for an easy, um, easy cut and go. So right now these are still bundled, which means you get 10% off when they're, when you purchase them together. But in the next year's catalog, they will be unbundled. So that's why they're on the last chance list because you will pay full price for each one separately um, in the new catalog. So if you wait till May 3rd, it'll be full price if you don't already have it, if you want it. You can use this technique with anything. So don't think that you need to have a specific stamp set to do what it is you want to do. I'm just going to put a stamp pad under here because it makes it nice and level for when I want to ink it up. Um, the problem with these window sheets is you lose them easily because they are clear. So then I want to line up my... It It's not going to stamp all the way across on it, but that's okay. Um, and then you want to make sure that you take an anti-static something. This is Stampin' Up's old um, embossing buddy, I think it was called, because it does really hold the static when you're working with window sheets and embossing powder. So I'm just gonna check, no, no, no signs yet. So hopefully the volume is working. Yeah, I can actually check, hopefully it does. Just turn it on on my iPad and make sure I still have volume. Never thought to do that. I just don't like the feedback that it gives. So here I'm just putting on some lots of Versamark. Make sure it's all nice and gummy. And then we're going to take it down and give it a really good rub. Make sure that we get it all nice and detailed because it is a fairly detailed stamp. And then you can see when I pick it up, it is stuck to it. So you can rub it a little more if you want. Before I take it off, I'm going to take out my powder. This is um, the gold embossing powder. And then I'm going to pull this off. I don't know if you can see the first the mark printed image on there. Then we're just going to powder it up. I hope you guys can't hear my stomach. It has been like gurgling all morning. I don't know what is going on. Okay, I think it got everything. I'm just gonna tap it off screen here so I don't get it all over my work surface. You kind of want to, I'm going to use this whole sheet, so I really wanted to flick that off. I did miss a portion there. I'll add just a bit, but it's not too important because I'm actually going to cut it down so it's not the end of the world. So I'm, I'm missing some here. Hang on. Maybe I was tapping too. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, so then I'm going to heat up my heat tool. So um, if you start with a, <laughs> you know why um, Yolanda, it probably took you longer to find me because I came on 
a couple minutes after noon. And so if you're already on before I go on, for some reason, the notifications don't come. So I always find you kind of have to go close out Facebook and then go back in. So I always try to go on just before noon so that people don't have that issue. But um, Andrew called me right as I was trying to go live and so I was a couple minutes late. Okay, so I'm just actually, I'm gonna stop this because I see that I have powder on my, and I don't want the powder to all stick here. So I'm just gonna wipe this off before I start the heating process. Make sure we're free and clear of powder. Okay, then we'll go ahead and so you kind of want to make sure you're not holding it in one spot, you're not holding it too close, because it will kind of warp. I guess you could melt the plastic, I have not had that happen, but I'm sure it is doable. So I don't want to not warn you, because I'm sure if I held it way too close it would burn a hole right through it. It does create a funk, a little bit of a funky smell as you're embossing, so obviously it's doing something. Hopefully I'm not uh, killing myself here, but just try not to breathe too much. So you can see it's getting nice and shiny. And stained glass isn't always just that darker, kind of pewtery look. It can be any kind of metallic look. So for this one, we're using gold. For another one, we're using something else. So you get to see a few different ways. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit, um, it's, it's not laying flat anymore. So it did a little bit I'm sure right away after you heat it if you you don't want to touch it too much like instantly but it's dry so anyways that's the gold part yeah it is stupid of <laughs> okay Facebook is funny it's wonky so then instead of, I'm going to take my blends to color because um, the blends are alcohol based so they'll dry on a non-porous surface, whereas if I tried to use our Stampin' Write markers, it would just be wet and it would wipe off instantly. So you don't wanna use that. You wanna use some kind of alcohol markers, then the blends work very well. And you don't wanna color on the side that you've embossed because it can wreck your tips of your blends. And it doesn't, what I found out is it doesn't wreck them instantly. It's down the road you go to open them like I think this one and it's got a bit of a white tip and it doesn't color as well as it used to I, I really have to like push harder and then it get it down I don't know if I could cut the tip or what I can do but um, just don't use it on embossing powder because I made that mistake so don't do like me so we're gonna use the back side where it's smooth so you don't have that edge to hold you in, but it also lets you just kind of color freely however you wish to color. So I'm gonna take, this one is Magenta Madness. Now this was, I did not, actually I didn't, I don't know if I, I forgot to look if there's any blends left on sale. Magenta Madness just jade that whole the ink colors they were all still available last week I'm not sure if they still are this week but if you're looking for blends at a cheaper price it's a great time oh no I went past where I wanted to oh well um <laughs> I'm having troubles coloring this okay I'm not going to color at all because I did pre-color one I my um my video last week, despite the no volume, ended up being quite long. So I wanted to shorten it a little bit. Now, oops, you can see 
so it can pick up other colors. So it's better to use the lighter color first. Um, but the thing I did wanna, so I ended up using the light one because my dark one does have the nasty tip on it. But if you let it dry, so say if I kept coloring over here, I can come back and add more color and it'll be darker and darker as I go. So if you wanna get it more vibrant, you can just put layer upon layer of color, just let it dry in between. And then you have this beautiful color on your wings. So through the magic of television, if I can find, <laughs> if I can find it, I have this pre-colored one um, that I've already cut down to size. So I did not do a very good job of cleaning this one, as you can see, but it's going to be on top of some glimmer paper, so it doesn't really show. So I'm okay with that. So what I've done is I've cut out a frame. So I cut out some basic white and then magenta madness, two different sizes of the rectangular stitched dies. And I'm going to adhere this to my frame. So I'm gonna use glue for this just because it sticks better with the being a window sheet. And I'm just going to stick it down here. Like so. So then I've got that adhered. And then I cut out a piece of the rainbow glimmer paper, which was it was available and it was on sale as of last week, but I did notice it was gone. Um, there still is the ombre in color um, glimmer paper that's on sale. I don't have it handy to show you. Um, similar, similar look, only it's ombre of all one color. So like all blue, all red. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't even get myself another. I was I was waffling about getting some more. So um, I don't wanna lay it flat because then it doesn't look as much like a window. So I'm gonna pop it up. In order to pop it up, I'm going to take my dimensionals. And I'm gonna Put it in the corners here and originally when I had originally done this I took the strips of um, not adhesive strips the dimensional adhesive strips anyway that you would use for window not window shaker cards um, but then it didn't let the light through so it didn't shine as much so you don't want to cover your whole thing because you want it to be able to come through so I'm just gonna around like that so then lots of light can still come through and then I'm going to stick it down onto here and for the finished look so this is the glimmer paper just the other side because there was the the reds is um, well it's the rainbow so you've got all the whole gamut of the colors and then I just used that's grumbling. Um, these are the amazing thanks dies. These can be found in our mini catalog, which is um, good till June. So they're still available and it has a nice outline and then the inner part, which is nice. It really makes it pop. And then it's just all put onto a piece of magenta madness. And I don't know if you can see in the light, the nice, this one's actually really pretty. And you probably wanna choose like colors that kind of go with whatever you're putting on. So this one I had more greens and blues. This one I had more pinks, purples, and yellows. So that is card number one. And hopefully you heard all of that this time. Checking my phone, it's all good. Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, which is my next one, this one here. Okay, 
So this next one, I used the prized peony dies and stamp set. Um, so <laughs> these were really good deals. The dies are still available. They're pretty much half price. So they're $27 instead of 50 some or four. I can't remember. And then the stamp set, the English version is no longer available, but the French version is, and it also is on sale. Now, if you don't use French sayings, you can still use the flowers. So if you're in love with this peony, you could still pick it up at a really discounted price, but the dyes alone make such a pretty peony. Um, you could just take advantage of the sale for that if you don't already have them. If you do, great. You can make this card with me. So first of all, I, um, in advance, I did the embossing for the peony with black embossing powder. So that was just this stamp. And you can see that I got some powder. I wasn't too worried about this because uh, my plan was to cut it out um, with the dye. So there is a cutout for this flower that fits perfectly. Now I can't remember if I already, no, I did not already cut it out. So before we cut it out, I wanted to color it again. So this time, so I'm going to use the back side once again, and I'm going to use, um, where did my markers go? Okay, so we're going to use some old olive and some flirty flamingo on here. Make sure I have it on the right side. I'm going to start with my light one just to see and then I can go darker if it's not enough but if I start with the dark and actually if you're really quick about it or I'm sure even after it dries you can take a baby wipe and wipe it off and start all over again so really there's no like you're not committing yourself too much when you start coloring part in the squeaky markers like running your nails on a chalkboard. Of course, kids today don't know that. I find they're way more sensitive. I can't remember what I was doing the other day, but my kids were like, oh, it's like grainy. Or I don't know how they said it, but they were getting all upset about the noise. And I'm like, oh, you have no idea. And I actually, I do have a chalkboard here at home. You can now hear me. Oh, good. <laughs> you couldn't hear me before. That is strange. Because I'm pretty sure Yolande can hear me. Maybe your volume was turned off or something. So I'm pretty sure I've been checking to make sure I don't have any um, warnings on there. So the volume should be going. Okay, I think I like the darker. It shows up just that little bit more. And like I said before, like I'll go in and color the leaves and then I can let it dry. This is too light. And you can actually go in and, oof, this tip is, it works well, but it's very um, soft at the top makes it hard so if you're having a hard time coloring in the lines but like I said I'm going to be cutting this out with the dye so I don't have to worry too much about my lines but and the thing with the window sheets is you don't have the bleeding of the pens like you do when you're on paper so you don't have to worry as much about going too close to the line. So now I have a pretty peony. I'm going to take my little mini embossing cut and emboss machine. I've got my um, plates 
and I know I've said this in the past, but actually before I do this, I'm going to put it on a, just because I'm not letting it dry for very long, I'm gonna put it on top of a piece of paper, although my paper's too big, hang on. Bits, and that way it won't leave the color on my plates and or pick up color <laughs> a dye would help rather than just running it through plain <laughs> okay oh good Jalanji heard me the whole time I'm counting on you guys to tell me if you lose me I'm trying to tap my screen and get the comments up every little bit. I don't know why I have to tap my screen. I still haven't figured that one out. Facebook, I tell you. It's a love-hate relationship. Okay, so I've cut this out. I only ran it once. Sometimes you have to run it more than once with the window sheets, but... So you can see it didn't matter that I had some excess powder on the outside. I just wanna make sure these little pieces are out. So then I pre-cut a piece of this um, gold and rose gold specialty paper. This too, I don't know if it's retiring um, I can't remember if it's on, the, it's still available either way, um, but it is in the annual catalog. So you might want to see if it's on the last chance list if you like it. I really like the rose gold um, paper. So you've got two options for this one. You can put it straight down or you can pop it up again to have it a little bit more look of glass. So I did, this one is popped up. And I used, um, what is it called? I think this is in the mini catalog, the Supple Shimmer paper. So this one, and actually it would look really pretty um, on this. Super sparkly. Or a little more subtle with the rose gold. Um, so yeah, you could use all sorts of, um, you could even use just gold because you've got the color on your window sheet, so you don't really need the color there. It just kind of adds to it. So whichever you prefer, um, I ended up, the card I, excuse me, finished, um, I put it straight down. So I just put um, little dots of glue behind the black um, embossing powder so that it wouldn't show through and stuck it straight down. Um, and then I used the doilies. These are from the Heart and Home suite. So there are all these colors, but the back side of them are white. So if you don't want to use the colored piece, you can just turn it over and have a white doily. And then these are the memories and more cards, um, cards and envelopes from the... Can't think of the name of them. Um, hand, hand pinned memories and more cards. So there's the envelopes and then there's the cards. They are a bit larger than your standard size card. So I had to extend my contours die. I don't know if you guys know how to do that. Maybe I'll have to do a, um, a whole other episode on changing your dies to suit what you're trying to cut out. Um, so I did lengthen that one and then I just stamped one of the sayings from the stamp set. So that is another version of the stained glass. Oh, you want, Yolan, you want, um, you want an episode on that? I'll have to, I'll write it down. It'll be one of my next episodes. Oh, the wheels are turning. Woohoo! Okay, I love it when there's like something specific that people want to see. Um, I can't find. Oh, my. I was looking for the gold embossing powder on the floor. I should probably move that before I step in it and spill it everywhere. Okay, next one. So I think this is. I feel like the volume I got for this one. 
um, last week, but I will redo it quickly. Um, and unfortunately, this beautiful foil paper is no longer available. It went with the waves of inspiration with the dies. So hopefully you got your hands on that. But I think this wave would look just as pretty with a silver foil or even that the one I just showed you from the, like with this one. So I don't think, like once it's colored, obviously I'll show you. Um, so you're not stuck without the blue. It's just unfortunate it's not available anymore. So this wave I stamped again with my Stamparatus and Versamark. And I added, so I had the white embossing powder, but I also had the, I think it's called iridescent ice or something. It was one of our powders that we've had in the past that I still have some of. And I just mixed it together so that it has a nice sheen. And then all I'm gonna do is color some blue into the back here. So I'm gonna start with a lighter, this is dark balmy blue. So I'm going to start with that because then when I go over with the darker one, it doesn't matter if it picks up some of the lighter one. So I'm just going to do the whole thing with this balmy. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> I don't know if the camera, if the audio, the mic picks, picks up the squeak or not, but... It's quite the squeak here. Okay, so I've got balmy blue and now I'm gonna add some, I couldn't remember what I used last time. I'm gonna use Misty Moonlight for now to see what it does. I can't remember if it was Misty Moonlight or if it was Night of Navy, but we will find out soon enough. Um, I can't really. Maybe I should do this over the black. It's easier to see where I'm coloring with the white. Okay. So then let's see. Oh, kind of looks like that. And then if we put it over top of the blue shiny, you can see that darkness in there. I think I'm just going to add a bit more some dark in here. Now, last week I did, I don't know if I still have it out, I forgot. Um, I did show, shoot, where is it? You can, here it is, okay. So I have an old water painter um, with alcohol instead of water in it, since these are alcohol based. And so if you want to kind of blend it, since you can't really blend on here, um, you can always take your water painter and come in, just so you don't have like these harsh lines. You can kind of, but you're going to want to make sure it's dry before you come in with the, the pen again. I don't know how, if, like straight alcohol is harsh on the tips or how that all works together. So um, yeah, so if you do want to do a little bit of blending, you can, uh, <laughs> you can hear the squeak. You can, but see now I've, I find maybe there's a little bit too much color taken away, especially up top. So I would probably go in and add some color, but I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit before I do that. Um, so, so what I, um, I don't think we have these right now. I believe there's some ovals coming out, but I do have the old oval um, set of dies. So I cut out an oval because I thought it worked well with this wave. And again, you wanna stick your window sheet to your frame and then put your dimensionals and pop it up so it has um, that little bit of extra. So here you can see my wave. 
I did end up adding this little guy, which is in this waves of inspiration. I, and then I thought I wanted to show you how I did this part. So all I did was I took the You Make Me Happy from the Rainbow of Happiness. It needs to be a photopolymer stamp set if you want to do this. And I just took it and I curled it to match the oval. And so for this one, I curled it so that I can put it on this side. And I'll try not to get my head in the camera. There, and then when you, let me just wipe it. And then when you take it off the block, it goes back to its original shape. So if you just kind of let it drop, it'll be its original flat, straight shape. But yeah, you can kind of, they're malleable, these um, photopolymer stamps. So you can kind of fit it to anything that you want which is kind of nice. So then pretend this one was here. It just adds a little bit of extra oomph. So that is the third um, card. So let me just go back and show you the cards quickly. And then I'm gonna quickly show you um, the stuff I have from the pre-order. There's the butterflies and the peony. Hopefully you can see them all. Okay, so those are my cards from this week and last week. <laughs> so hopefully everybody knows how to make it this time. And I can do something new next week. Sorry, my sheet, you can tell it's the end of April. Um, okay, new stuff new in colors so i don't know if you guys have already seen these from other people but these are our new in colors so for the next two years these colors are the in colors now i don't know what your favorite is um i really like the bluey purples and the tahitian tide and i was like oh i don't know about these two but then I started playing, I had to make some swaps and stuff this weekend and started playing. And I actually, the green and the red really grew on me. Um, I have a sample of a card. Where did I put it? Oh, here. So if you are one of my customers who has purchased from me in the last six months, I'm going to be sending you... Um, the new annual catalog and a little card and a couple little things. Um, so this is the card I created, but like the green with the starry sky and then the Tahitian turt, like it just, and then the red is kind of a really nice, yeah, I just, I didn't think I'd like the red and the green and now I do. So these are the colors. Now, if you buy the colors, make sure... I always get the refills. I don't know where the fifth one is, but I always make sure I buy the refills when I buy the stamp pads because then I know I have them and it's just so much easier to have them both. And I believe um, you can buy the set. I can't remember if you can do both to get it one of them you can get as a set to discount them when you buy them I believe um, so then there's the matching stamp and rate markers um, there's the paper of course so here's another look at the colors um, there is a an ombre again beautiful glimmer paper which I haven't opened yet as you can tell I had the box all organized to do an unboxing and then like I said I was working on swaps this weekend so it ended up getting a little disheveled but 
Oh my goodness, it's tight in here. <laughs> it's a whole lot of papers. Anyways, you can see the pretty, ooh, see? I don't like the cream, but then you see that and it's like, ooh. This is actually um, my youngest who does gym. His gym has this as one of their colors. It's really pretty. The Tahitian Tide and the lighter. So that's the lighter one. What does the darker one look like? Oh. oh, no, that's the lighter one. These two are so close in color. Okay, so what else is there? Um, we've got some... Oh, hang on, let me stick with the in color stuff. We've got some ribbon. It's metallic ribbon. It's kind of cool. So they have all, I don't have all the colors, but I have a couple. You can kind of spread it out a little and get it more meshy, or you can have it thinner. So this is the Tahitian Tide and the Orchid Oasis. So this is the lighter of the two purpley blues. Um, there is, I'll find it. Um, these are the new, so these are last year's in colors that are still good for another year. There, there used to be those beautiful gems um, that were always so hard to get your hands on. They've changed it now to these opal rounds, which are really pretty as well. I have the embellishments for the new in colors, but I can't still find it as I go through. But I'm not, oh, no, that's not Oh, here they are. So then there's matte decorative dots. The red is under the um, piece. I think there's another one too. I can't, I don't know. We'll see as I dig um, what we've got here. There's also um, this set of Baker's Twine with all the in colors. Um, there's this 12 by 12, I can't remember what this goes with. I don't know if it actually goes with anything. It's called brush stroke specialty paper. So I think this will be one that I'll have to come up with some techniques for. Um, there's some different colors. I don't even know. This looks like mint macaron. There's three in here. The blushing bride. Can you see that texture? It's kind of cool. So that one's called Brush Strokes. Blushing Bride, Night of Navy, and Soft Succulent. There we go. And then there's um, there's always a black and white something something, which is always fun to have. That one's called Perfectly Penciled. I don't think that goes with any specific sweet either. Then we've got the designer um, designer paper for the in colors. So there's two different papers for each one. There's the one with flowers and stripes, and then there's one with polka dots and plaid. As you can see, I feel like I'm gonna have to order another pack of this. Okay, right, then our first suite I'm gonna show you is this fun cup of tea. I love tea for those of you who know me. So I, I, I didn't love kind of the flowery part of it, but I really like the striped teacup and I like the idea of tea. And since I've been playing with it, I'm starting to, obviously I'm starting to like the flowers of uh, the card I showed you. Um, I did flowers in it. So it has um, designer series paper. It's six by six double-sided so you've got kind of the more non-florally on one side and then you've got the more florals on the other side 
Then you've got some memories. They're not memories anymore. They're just cards and envelopes. Um, I haven't opened them yet. So it just kind of uses those same papers that I just showed you. So you could add on. So there's the stripes, there's the red, the polka dots, and the plaid. Oh, and something else. <laughs> there we go. Distressed. Cute. So these, I think, are standard size cards. Four and three eighths by five and three quarters. That'd be that. Yeah. These are standard. I'm not going to get them back in. <laughs> okay, so that is, uh, am I missing something? No, I think that's the entire tea suite. Then we've got, what's this one? Oh, the happiness abounds. This is a really, so this is the other part I used with the card I show you, show, blah, 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 showed you. <laughs> um, flowers. I really, I just really loved the sayings and how they're written. They're really cute. And then I really liked this um, background stamp, so, or not stamp, die. So it just, it cuts out pieces and then it just kind of leaves some. So it does, it gives you a really pretty um, background. <laughs> you don't drink tea. Well, you're going to have to start drinking tea on because it's a good set. Or maybe you just make cards for your friends who like tea. Um, okay, so there's this. And then there's, this one's a whole suite. So there's the matching paper. And the fun part with this paper is it has um, the ones that you can cut out with the dies. So these ones fit with the dies perfectly. And there's these colors, but there's also... So the whole color of the rainbow, you can cut out with the dies. So tons and tons of possibilities. And then there's these really pretty, um, like paint look backgrounds. And then you've got the blues, you've got some little flowers, and then there's a, there's a rainbow, there's a rainbow one, and then there's some, so it's a, just a really pretty, I love the colors in this set. That's what kind of, I'm not a super flowery person, but um, I just, I like the, oh, well, I love the colors and I really liked the sentiments. So there's those, there's, um, there's these glossy dots assortments that go with it. So they have the matching colors. It doesn't say the colors on here. It looks like gorgeous grape. Coastal Cabana. Daffodil Delight. Um, gorgeous grape. And probably Melon Mambo are those colors. I think that is all of that sweet. Then... We have, what is this? All that. Oh, that's this. Okay. So then we have this very masculine set, which those of you who know, I live in a house full of boys. The new catalogs are not available to the public until, they. it goes live May 3rd. I do have the catalogs and they are like, you should be able to get your hands on it. So your stuff is supposed to arrive actually on Friday. So if you want to come pick up your order, I can put your catalog with it and you can get it um, as of Friday. So come get your hands on it. I'll have the packages ready. Um, and anyone else in Canada who wants to get their hands on a catalog, you can contact me. Um, and I can get one out to you. So it has these uh, rustic metallic adhesive dots. It has a bunch of kind of manly Father's Day, hello handsome, fun, fun little things. It has the dies, which I haven't opened yet. So let's see. Yeah, so I'm still not allowed to show the inside of the catalog until May 3rd, but I am allowed to show the product that I have. 
and we were limited to so this is actually a really cool one because it's not like the usual shapes this is like stuff you can use for anything i love the the argyle the labels like this will be used a lot i think and then the paper that goes with it it's actually a really cool paper because it's not just paper it's almost like a scrapbook kit that we used to have in the past so it has the double-sided papers and then it's got a bunch I think there's I don't know if they're just cutouts or if they're stickers uh, they're just cutouts there's two pages of them with lots of fun cutouts and then some more paper so if you're a camper if you it, it has like a little bit of everything there's actually another masculine one that was like beer and like drinks and stuff which i really really wanted but it wasn't in the budget <laughs> so i haven't got it yet but i'm hoping i'll get it next month and have lots of stuff for father's day coming up and then there's this one it is the nature's prince i waffled on. i really wanted the paper on this one because it's that so it's called sun prince and i can't remember what they call the cyan something that they do a special way to get the paper this color or whatever so it just looked like paper i would use so it's all got the blues and whites on one side and then I think they're kind of like grays like, look at this isn't that beautiful love 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 this oh you bought it to make this kind of paper that would be cool I want to come play <laughs> Maybe you can be a guest and we can do a live together. So this is kind of the purple. I think it, this must be that Orchid Oasis or something. And then you've got the grays. So lots of really cool. Um, oh, well, that's cool. It's like they're all, there's so many different ones. It just keeps going. So that's the paper that I kind of was like, I had to have the paper and then I waffled on these. Oh, there's one more piece to this. There's a 3D fern embossing folder, which goes really well. And then there's the nature's prints. So it's got your ferns. And then there's the dyes that go with natural prints dyes. Well, see, I'm still going on to an hour, but at least it's with both. <laughs> so there's a really pretty wreath, and then there's all the cutouts for all your stamps, and then there's a nice label that fits the sentiments. So it's a really good set, and I, you know, I always love having those background kind of splatter stamps. Those are always nice to have. So that's the next sweet. What else? Oh, I have... Um, Oh, yes. So this is one that I received for free when I did the conference this past, um, I think it was last month. They sent out four different sets um, just kind of randomly to everyone. And this is the one I got. And I really didn't love it at first. And we've been doing an online virtual swap. And I don't have my card handy that I made. But um, yeah, I kind of am loving it now. So it's funny how I, I used to get upset when I would get things that I didn't like, but now I kind of look at it. It's just something that you can kind of push yourself to find. <laughs> oh, look at Lond. Well, you know, it kills me too. I want all this stuff. And then look at me. Maybe you're just going to have to sign up again get your discount okay so this is just a die set it doesn't have a stamp set with it but this is something you'll want if you don't have all those um if you never got your hands on the what is it called stitched 
stitched shapes or something. Um, this is the new version of it. So it has circles and squares, but then it has the nice um, banner kind of labels. So yeah, if you never got your hands on the stitch dies, stitch shape dies, I think is what it was called. This is the new version of that. So make sure you get your hands on it. I really, I pretty much, I have circled, I, actually I did, so I looked and I have the stitch shape dies, but the biggest is either the third or the second biggest of this. So there actually is bigger pieces than this one, which is why I justified, because I really wanted the banner pieces, but then I was like, well, I can't buy this just for the banner pieces. But then I realized that there is bigger circles and squares. So I went for it and I got it. So that is all that was in my box <laughs> for this month. I can't wait. So next week, I guess I'll be able to actually show you the new catalog. I am going to do a, um, a catalog launch party. I haven't figured out what date or what exactly I'm doing for it, um, but keep your eyes open for it. It will be a free event, um, but just some samples and showing you the new catalog. So. Next week should be lots of fun. Hopefully we'll see you guys next week. Hopefully you have a great rest of your week and I'm really hoping it stops snowing. And I am off to Calgary this weekend for competition and I'm hoping that Willow is going to be okay because she ate all my chicken fajita leftovers last night. And so we're going to get blood work done because onions are toxic to dogs. So fingers crossed that she is not going to get anemic and yeah fun the, the joys the dogs right Ilan you know all about the dog stuff so she seems okay like she's not showing any signs of anything but we're going to do the pre-blood work now and then do it again um, when I get back and hopefully she'll be okay oi anyways um have a great rest of your week bye